back bike packing rig. Just a quick overview. I only had the bike a couple of days, so I really haven't gotten to ride it too much to review how it rides. I'm gonna do a quick overview, real quick, some things. All right, aluminum frame with a carbon fiber fork. Carbon fiber fork does have the three bolt pattern, so you run salsa, cages, or black burns, whatever. It does come the rack on the front. So the purpose of this is to get your handlebar roll off your handlebar. So the handlebar roll ain't, ain't messing with your cables. That's a 15 pound limit on that rack, which is plenty for all your, all your sleeping gear, basically, is why I'm gonna run up there. The rear rack comes with the rear rack and it also comes with the bag holders the bag holders are designed to fit up to a eight liter round bag i want to run the seat at those are seat assignment eight eight liter bags it does come with the drop Came with a Montross saddle. I put a Covey on there because I needed a wider saddle. Okay, so things about the frame. Frame has tricks. They raise the the chain stay here, and the chain actually goes under it to allow. So they did that, I think, for two reasons. They're running a 148 boost in the back, so that allows for the chain clearance on the bigger tires keep that chain line in they've able to move the uh, crank out three mils so your Q factor is not affected by the wider tires this is it's just right you know it pedals like a uh, regular bike so uh, no 83 bracket or nothing like that it's a PF 92 I believe that's in it uh, and also this allows them to be wider here so that tire can come forward all right so the rear dropouts is Trek strangle hold so the strangle hold allows you to shorten and lengthen your wheelbase right now it's all the way forward so uh, you know for uh, better handling you know quicker response or if you're fully loaded you can run its back to get it built more uh, stable So, component wise, it's got the SLX 11 speed shifter, the dropper post control on the left. So, on the front, you got a race face 30 tooth. That's the A effect line up level, I believe. I'm going to run the race face A effect pedals. In the rear, it's got the SLX. 11 speed derailleur the cassette is 1146 and then Shimano's chain it's it is a Shimano chain not a KMC on on the brakes it's the SRAM level T hydraulics one eighty front and rear the wheels Sunwrinkle Duroc 50 millimeter wide double wall they're they're ready two they're ready for uh, tubeless setup no taping no nothing just put stems in and go and put sealant and go the hub is a boost 110 it's a bunch razors in-house hub I believe I don't know what I'm not sure what components has inside it through axle of course Rear, rear hub is a Boost 148. So I'm just new to this type of stuff, the Boost. But from my understanding, the Boost 148 being a wider, it lets the, fl the flange is wider, which allows the spokes to be more, be, they're, they're stronger being at that, at that wider angle. 
So it's like a 28 spoke and the stiffness of this wheel is supposed to be as stiff as a 26 inch wheel with only 28 spoke count. Chupacabra, 29 by three tires. So I'll get some rides in, do a more in-depth review on how it handles or how I think it handles compared to, I can compare it to a Surly ECR that I had for about a year that got stolen. So this bike is replacing that one. So we'll see how do some more reviews on hot rides, fully loaded. Just a quick look at the Blackburn Outpost. That's a medium size. Pretty impressed with it. It's all open on the inside. It has a little Velcro divider in the middle. This unzips and it actually drops down all the way to here. Gives you, so it, it fills almost the whole triangle of the frame. So quite a bit of storage. Because my plan is to run this, two eight liter bags, the Revelate 15 liter, I think it's a 15 liter sweet roll is 15 liters, I believe. And maybe, you know, cages if I need to, I got salsa cages. And if I have to, you can always run, put a bag on top or a seat. I don't want to run a seat bag. You can always run, maybe put the tent, if I run a tent, put it on top and still be able to use a dropper post. But so far I like it. It's a good looking bike.